Hey traders, hope you all having an awesome weekend. So an update here on net gas, gold, silver and crude oil. But before that, as always, over the weekend, I want to give you something valuable and I want to give you something that can help you to become a better trader so that you can avoid some mistakes in your trading and able to take your own trading decisions rather than just following some random signal groups. So if you want to skip this part of the video, then you can skip it to the timestamp you will see in next 30 seconds. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how I take my trades last week and before that and how I waited with patience and we entered one trade where the patience paid off and that trade went against my direction and about to hit my stop loss and then it reversed towards my take profit and it even gave me more profits than my initial target. So that is the trade I'm going to show you and also I'm going to show you how we took the trades last week using the zone especially the gold and silver gave us some nice conditions. I'm going to show you one Nasdaq trade, how nicely it reacted out of the trend continuation zone. So that is what I'm going to show you in the first part of the video is all understanding the trading psychology, being patient and the conditions I'm going to show you and that will certainly help you to take your own trading decisions. So let's start with this pair which is right here USD Canadian dollar. Now the first thing I want to show you, I've already sent this pair to my members it was 21st of august last month these are the reports i sent to the members every week and which is what i'm going to go through at the end of this video so if you scroll down and see right here we have usd canadian dollar pair i've already mentioned my members that the price is now heading towards a level of major structure right and that was sent last month and we've been waiting with patience and we've been taking some nice buy trades only because we were between this area of value and remember every trend must end now right here i took this trade if you are my student then you know what condition is right here a buy condition and that was an easy take profit hit and if you go back and see the price was trending nicely towards the upside since since this area of value if you go back and see this was a nice zone that from where the price started is uptrend a counter trend and then it keeps on pushing higher and in between that we have this area from where we want to take an advantage of an uptrend and keep on entering our buy trades with the pullbacks with conditions until when until the price hit the counter trading zone which we were prepared from last two weeks now we did not enter any sell trades with the fear of missing out that price is now pushing really high now it is a time to sell the market now, if, imagine if you entered looking at this big bearish candle seeing that the price is now pushing and you want to sell at the top make some money but that is what we don't want to do we want to see a conditions at the area of value something like this we took this trade as well right here and that gave us little scalp and then price keep on pushing higher and continue to push higher in a trend now the price is still in an uptrend which i'm going to talk about in a second but what do we have here we have a nice double top entry pattern right here a trade alert i've sent to my members as well and this trade really tested my patience now let me show you the trade alert i've sent to the members right here if you can see on the screens the trade alert i've sent to the members right at the close of this double top engulfing pattern and what do we have we had a nice condition and then what happens the price instantly push higher right from where we entered it just started to push higher and it was about to hit my stop loss now imagine if you are a beginner and if you have no idea about the rules if you do not have any tested strategy you have no confidence in your trading then you would be exiting your trade or try to exit your trade a little bit below or once the price came back in a little profit you want to exit your trade and you'll feel relieved that you have saved yourself from a major loss but in reality that was just a fear factor in trading but what the professional traders do once they set up the stops and targets doesn't matter if the price pushes up and hit the stop loss they know that they're under their risk capital they know that if the stop loss is hit they can move ahead take the exact same entry and that can hit the take profit because they have the strategy tested and they have seen these situations a lot many times in the market and that is something you don't need to be scared of because it is your tester strategy now at this point that was a moment of panic of course if the price is pushing higher but you need to be in control of your emotions it's not like the emotions are controlling you just giving you a fear when the price was here you want to exit maybe at the minimum loss or you want to exit once the price just came back to your entry point and then you see the consequences the price 
pushes lower the initial targets was something like this right here one to one but i always say you can manage your trades according to your atr or you can manage it till the recent level of structure which is right here i've managed my trade till this recent level of structure because i knew that this is an area from where we can expect another bounce out of and as you can see we are starting to see a bounce from this area of value now if you remember i've said the price is still in an uptrend this uptrend will be over only once the price will completely broken below this previous low if that happens we have a complete reversal situation and then price will continue to head lower and start of a new downtrend otherwise it can still head higher and make another high and we can keep on taking our trades long trades until the price hit the next level of major resistance which i'm going to mark this weekend that is how we need to be trading by eliminating your fear by eliminating your greed and by greed i mean that you are not exiting your trade in time not taking your take profit is as risky as not placing your stop loss you always need to take your profits once your targets are meet so a good example of being patient a good example of a trade that push against us and then it gave us even more profits than our initial target because we did not exit our trade with a fear of imagine once you exit your trade here you'll feel relief for a second or for some time but when you come back and look at the charts again and then imagine how much you will feel angry and then what you'll do you'll try to take another trade and you want to take a revenge of this trade that you have missed out this trade now you just want to make money and you can't wait to get another setup and then what happens you eventually lose money just with revenge trading which is another part of the emotions which we need to eliminate so good example of that and i hope you have learned something out of this example and i hope you improve your trading psychology looking at this very good example a live example we had last week and a good example that we waited with patience till the price hit the zone to the area of value and before that we've been taking our buy trades only with conditions so next one let's talk about gold a commodity that is your favorite commodity i believe after net gas now we had a good condition and i've been talking about these trades from last couple of weeks i've been talking about these zones from last couple of weeks and i've also sent these zones to my members right here as you can see on the screens now i've already informed my members and i've already mentioned these zones on my youtube videos but for members i've always draw these zones and send them the other commodities as well i'm going to show that at the end of this video that what other commodities i sent to the members now for goal i've already informed wait with patience and wait till we get conditions once the price hit this area this number the support zone and once you have price hit the support zone we are good to take over trade now at this point if you ask me is this the entry condition yes the way i test my strategy the way i teach you here on my youtube and to my members it is a valid bullish engulfing pattern now the conference is the price hit the major zone that, that is the conference number one the conference number two we have a bullish engulfing pattern right here so we have two technical confluence now my confluence number three as you know that i always see the ratio of gold and silver i have already uploaded a strategy how to trade gold and silver with the ratio so the gold and silver was creating a nice swing high bearish engulfing pattern a ratio made that pattern at the area of value and the gold is making a nice swing low bear, bullish engulfing pattern so you see the difference it is exactly the same but opposite swing low bullish in golfer swing high bearish in golfer here on ratio on silver swing low bullish in golfer on ratio swing high bearish in golfer and if the price pushes lower from here it is a chance a very likely chance that price will push higher here on gold and silver sometimes the ratio has a gap and gold is fast silver is slow but this time both were at the area of value that is my added confluence for both commodities i did not enter a trade at this bullish engulfer why because it did not hit my zone instead i waited till i got a better entry after the hit of my area of value now the price could have pushed up from here as well but you need to be strict with your rule that is very important my rule is i will only enter my trade once i see a good conditions and that condition must must meet at the area of value which i've drawn and which i have been waiting from last couple of weeks and that happens and as you can see the results the price hit the take profit of 13 dollars so good trade out of gold now i want to show you a silver as well right here on silver what do we have 
Right here, so we have silver. I've sent these zones to my members last weekend at 10th of September and I've already mentioned these zones to enter the trade on a smaller time frame once the price hit the area of value. And what do we have? Right here, after hitting this zone, we had a nice swing low, bullish engulfing pattern. Confluence number one, the price hit my zone. Number two, we have a bullish engulfing pattern. Number three, we have an oversold situation in the RSI. Adding all that, we have a very good entry condition and as you can see the price hit 50 points right from here and i did not keep my stop loss really high because we have a 50 ema resistance and that is why i wanted to keep my targets below 50 or till 50 ema because i knew that price will likely hit my take profit and then it can push back lower and form another pattern which i'm going to talk about in the analysis part of the video so that is how we take the trade with conditions now i did not enter my trade anywhere here and i got lots of messages from my friends as well that oma we are getting a nice double bottom pattern but where is this double bottom pattern happening at the area of value no it's just happening nowhere it's just happening in the air it is just a pullback according to me in a downtrend but i have my zone here the other price push higher from this area of value right so what is the reason for me to enter here did you see any zone here no we have no zone here but we have a zone below so that is why i wanted to enter here doesn't matter if the price has pushed up from here that's fine but with the rules it is likely that price once the price hit your zone you are not guessing but this is something you call guessing and that is something we don't need in our trading so always have your rules here once you draw the zones make sure you enter your trades once the price hit the area of value and test your strategies as well and and always have faith in your strategy you can have a losing streak but that doesn't mean your strategy is not working out now i want to show you one more trade here i've sent in my free telegram channel right here what do you see here you see a nice uptrend right so why the hell we're going to take a sell trades in this uptrend but every trend must bend and you need to know where does it bends and i've already set the zones for this pair and i know that it is likely the price will head lower from this area of value right here as you can see the number right here this is a zone from where i'll be expecting the price to push lower so for me it doesn't matter the price is really high i remember because this is this was a trade i've sent in my free telegram channel i got a call from someone i know that oma oh why are you entering this trade because the price is really high in the rsi right here and the guy was scared that you are taking a wrong trade because the price is already high and there is no need to enter these trade but that is something you need to master if you know your strategies are working out if you know that your rules are working out you don't need to listen the noise out there you have to stick with the rules yes it could have pushed lower hit my stop loss that is fine but i will never doubt on my strategies i know that price is in an uptrend i know if i get a condition i will enter my trade i did not enter my trade anyway here anyway here but why did i enter my trade right here because i have a conditions i have a price in an uptrend i have a bullish engulfing candle i have a swing low bullish engulfing pattern and i have my stop loss and take profit set according to my rules and that hit my take profit now i will only enter my sell trade if i get a conditions here let's say if the price keep on heading higher i get another bullish condition i will still go long until when until i see a bearish pressure something like double top something like bearish engulfing candle if we have that why not taking a sell trade and manage your sell trades you don't have to be greedy just if you get a bearish engulfer you say now price is going to fall nicely no go a better risk to reward ratio go 1.4 to 1 risk to reward ratio manage your trade use trailing stop but always secure your profits once your trade goes in your favor so the last one i want to show you one indices trade right here now i want to show you what i've said in the video in the analysis and how i entered this trade personally but if you are a day trader then this is an area right here from where i look for a little scalp once we have a pullback break above 20 ema on daily time frame then look for a pullback followed by bullish engulfers on smaller time frame so that is how i take my trade awesome so what do i mean by a trend continuation zone a zone that is recently broken and that is a minor area of value i've been looking to enter my trades if we get a pullback followed by a conditions and what are my conditions my conditions are some sort of buy signal and my buy signal is price broke above and then pull back and then buyer says yes we are going to push the market higher by telling us with this nice bullish engulfing candle shows us a bullish pressure and that 
push the price higher a nice take profit hit here as well so that is how you do your analysis you prepare yourself every week you mark your zones every week once your zones are there wait for the price to give you conditions if the price is in between the area of value look for the condition look for the trend identify the trend and take a trending trades only once the price hit the zone you know that it is now in the area of value start to take for reversal trade if the price is pushing higher broke above the previous high look for a pullback and then look for buy trades only and that is how you need to do your analysis keep it very simple do not you don't need to place tons of indicator you do not need to place do not need to draw so many lines that will confuse you and if you do that if you mark so many lines for example if i'm a beginner what i'll do i'll mark a line here and I'll mark a line here and I will say these are all the zones. Yeah, I look back and see, yeah, this is a zone. But in reality, these are just a pullbacks, a swing high, swing lows in pullback that price creates. And that is not something we need to mark on a chart. Just mark major and minor zones. Keep it simple as possible. So hope you got a value out of these analysis and I hope you have learned something out of it. If yes, pause the video for a second. And hit the like button for me nice one let's move ahead and start our analysis starting with natural gas gold silver and crude oil so what do we have right here price nicely pushed higher and as you can see we had a nice bullish engulfer we took this entry sent to the members as well but i've also informed you guys to take a look at the inventory report and that came out bearish and a good example of exiting your trades in time i knew that we have a report release very shortly and these were my two targets that has been hit and i did not get greedy just by hanging on with my trades now i exit my trade here we had a report as expected bearish that pushed the price lower so let me show you what i've said in my last video so that you also understand conditions and entries we have an inventory report due very shortly so last week it was more than expected which was a higher demand that's why the net gas push higher so if as you can see it's more than expected this week the forecast is more than last week so if we have a numbers more than that then the, we can get a very big pullback out of net gas nice one so we had a report release the price pushed lower and we had a little zone as well if you see here we have a little resistance that has been created by a price that has turned to be a minor level of resistance that price is now resisting we had a technical signal as well i've also mentioned this in my live session that we had a level of minor resistance that can push a price lower to 50 ema as you can see the price is respected this zone again it can give you a good pullback so we had a bearish report price is now in a minor resistance so pullback is very likely we can get a pullback to 50% or we can get a pullback to 3 to retracement and then we can get a possible continuation towards the upside. So, yes, I'm expecting some pullbacks from here. Looking at this double top as well, triple top actually, and that has happened. Now, price is still in an uptrend in a higher time frame. We are still not broken below this consolidation. We've been taking these trades with condition from the zone here with the pullback entries on smaller time frame and that is how we are trying to pull some profits out of this net gas market for the price to head higher it needs to be broken above this high so that it can continue to push higher and we can keep on taking buy trades otherwise i can see a nice 382 candle that shows a bearish pressure on monday if my price opens below in gap then price can head lower and we will only look for sell trades with pullbacks and with conditions only so next buy will be above this high or if we have a next candle let's say if opens above 50 ema and we can get a next candle as a bullish engulfing candle then we have a buy signal otherwise price can head lower and if we have a broke below 50 ema with two candles we we'll start to look for sell trades only until the price hit the zone below right here which is 2.493 that goes down to 2.419 for short term only because price is still in an uptrend and not breaking and closing below this area as long as it's doing that we're just trying to pull out some profits from this market from this area right here as you can see we took some nice trades and little scalp out of that so that is what i'm looking at Keep an eye on next candle. If you have a next candle closed above bullish as a bullish engulfer, we start to take long. Otherwise, I can now see a bearish pressure with this 382 candle that can push the price lower at this point. Looking at this triple top as well. So not expecting very big targets if you are in a sell trade. Otherwise, again, buy will be only if the price close above 
back above 50 EMA and start to look for next condition or broke above this recent high. Here on Capital.com is still above 50 EMA. So I still want to see if we have a next candle that close above as a bullish engulfing pattern. If we have that, the price will head higher and the next zone to take your sell trades is right here. 3.0047 that goes up to 3.0. 936 so this is the zone to take your sell trades a counter trades or sell will be once we have a complete break and close below 50 ema with two candles we'll start to look for sell conditions only prices now in between the buying and selling area all we want to see a condition to go long or short a condition i've already mentioned to you but i can see a strong bearish pressure at right at this little minor zone as you can see in the past as well and that is why i'm expecting some bearish pressure pull back towards the bearish side towards whatever condition i'll keep you guys informed in my next video the next one we have a goal a nice push up out of gold let me show you what i've said in my last video so that you can understand conditions and entries but we are still in a buying zone i'm expecting a possible good bullish signal i'm seeing a nice formation of a bullish pattern if we have a next candle which is very likely we can get a next candle as a bullish engulfer i want to see a bullish engulfer that fully engulfs the candle including the wick once we have that we are good to go long awesome a nice formation of bullish engulfing candle swing low bullish engulfer that push the price higher exactly how we predicted and exactly how it happens at the area of value that is how we enter the trades with conditions so a nice push up out of gold we have a atr of 5.6 dollar and price pushed more than one atr as you can see it pushed up to atr that was enough to hit over take profit so price is now broken above looks like a change in trend broken above 50 ema book broken above 20 ema all i want to see pull back a few candles bullish in golfer and keep on taking longs so we're only going to take long until the price hit the zone above which is right here 1865.65 goes up to 19 81.02 from where we will enter our sell counter trades only for now i'm still looking for buy trade looking at the fact we have a nice reaction of the area of value we do have a nice zone here so it's worth having the zones on a chart as well a minor zone 1945 goes up to 1951 a zone from where we can expect a little pullback not a major push down but i'm expecting a little pullback and then a continuation towards the level of major resistance which i've just mentioned so keep on taking longs until we get to a level of minor zone and major zones and look for buy trades with conditions only i'm expecting some pullback followed by bullish in golfer and that will be my buy condition i also look for three or two candles right here what do we have for silver exactly as gold as predicted in my last video let me show you what i've said so that you understand conditions and entries now inside the area of value which is 22.02 goes up to 22.57 now i'm looking for a good reason to enter which is my bullish in golfer if we have that we have the oversold situation in the rsi if we have a bullish in golfer then we have an added confluence we have a buying pressure with a bullish candle if we have that we are good to go long so keep looking for these conditions once you have that we're going to enter our trade accordingly nice one so as i've said that i'm expecting a very good pattern and that has happened with experience i could tell that we can get a very nice pattern here we had a bullish in golfer that pushed the price higher now price for this commodity is still below 50 ema let the candle break above 50 ema once that happens we only going to take long trades and keep on taking longs until the price hit the next level of minor resistance which is 24.78 goes to 25.10 so all i want to see a good condition that can be break above 50 ema pull back keep on taking longs now price can still form a double bottom pattern right here so have your rejection zones ready something like this let me mark that for you so that you have no confusions left right here. that is exactly your rejection zones number in blue if we have a price pull back to the rejection box with the candle not closing below only wick is allowed to go below if that happens we're going to take another long trade if we have a condition like bullish and golfer or we have a 3a2 candle within this area of value if that happens then we will take another long trade we will have a valid double bottom pattern and price will head higher from here so these are the conditions i'll be looking at for my buy trades double bottom from here or pullback entry above 50 ema for now if we have a next candle that close as a bearish engulfer we have a signal that price will pull back and creation of possible double bottom pattern same can happen with gold as well if that happens if we have a pullback we can get a double bottom pattern here on gold and we can keep on taking longs if we have a condition something like this so the conditions are only thing i need to look to enter my trade there is no guessing in the market and i try to give you this condition so that you won't enter your trades 
blindly. So the last one we have crude oil is now pushing higher as expected in a nice uptrend and we have a nice 3 to candle up in buy as well that can likely push the price higher so only expecting buy from crude oil and as you can see a nice pin bar has closed on daily time frame as well so if you look at 93.05 goes up to 95.99 now this is the zone from where i want to enter my sell trades only conditions like bearish and golfers or double top entry conditions for now i will only look for buying opportunities on smaller time frame we can get a pullback bullish in golfer pullback can go till 50 ema now i want to remove this zone here because i don't want to look at this zone and pullback has been done already so without any confusions we are only looking at the zone above and we only looking at buy trades with conditions that can be a pullback to 50 ema and then keep on heading higher or we can get a possible pullback above 50 ema with bullish in golfer and keep on taking longs until the price hit the zone above in red i've just mentioned so before i end this video i got this question asked a lot about priority group so let me clear a few doubts of that now there are two ways you can join one is you can join it totally free but if you choose to join here on my website then you can join it right here and then you can access all the reports in the in your portal you can get weekly forex report commodities reports and indices report as well let me quickly show you that as well so if you join through my website, you can access your priority group, something like this, and then you can download all these reports, which will be updated every single week right from here. And you can also download your free indicators if you click here right from this portal. Or what you can do, if you do not want to sign up on my website, you can all also click on the membership right here. It will take you to my Buy Me A Coffee account where you can sign up right here is exactly the same, but in dollars. Once you join that, you will get everything for free for members only. If you click here, all these reports are zero for members and you can download all these reports and indicator from your portal. And I also want to mention one thing here that the standard price will increase in next couple of weeks because I'll be adding live sessions for members only so that you'll be updated with the market moves every weekend and you'll be stay informed what we can expect in next week and we will go through different charts and if you have any questions about any other instrument you are trading we can go all through that in a live session you get the reports something like this for commodities right here these were the previous reports for last month I've sent to the members and you get all these commodities and I add more commodities as well I've added palladium as well and you have copper as well you also get crude oil and then and this week I've added platinum as well so for the forex reports I send something like this if I see a good setups right here I send these reports to the members I send few pairs so that you can pay attention to this pair to take your possible trades and once the price hit the zones and as you know my zones played out very nicely most of the time and these are the zones you will get so that you get prepared what to expect next week and from where you can take your counter trades or pullback trades with between the zones now with that i've added a new addition which is the indices report right as you get report for indices as well something like this and these are the indices i send to the members and i add or remove some indices if i don't see a good setup or if i see a good setup i send these to the members as well so this is something you get every single week so that you can take your trades as accurate as possible now the second way to join the priority group is free you get every single thing which you have just seen for free and i forgot to mention that with these reports you also get trade alerts these alerts are not a signal but a trades that i'm personally taking and i want to show you how i enter my trades and once the price hit the zones i've just shown you take your trades something like that i've sent these zones to the members and then when i see a condition i send them an alert that we have a sell condition and that is how i'm going to enter my trade and that is how you look at the market and if you see a condition you can also enter your trade and i send them entry stops and target as well for the pacific trade i send to the members one to four times a week it's totally free if you join through my partner brokers now i recommend ic market uh, iron fx if you're looking for a good broker now you have few accounts here so that you don't get confused for INFX we have a standard account with no commission then we have a raw spread account and then we have a pro account that has a low spread and no commission as well and if you open this account you need to have a minimum requirement of 2k to get added in the priority group for now for these two accounts you see above the minimum requirement is only $500 just for September and then it will be increased to $1,000 once you open an account just DM me on Instagram or you can always email me at support at the rate of moneymarkers.net you get all these benefits 
for free without paying anything so this is something you get from the priority group i hope all the doubts are clear now and if you still have any questions you can always dm me or email me at support at the rate of money markers.net so that's it for today's video guys i hope you got a value out of it if yes hit a like button for me subscribe if you're new so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green the rest of the week see you guys in the next video have an awesome weekend take care